Hi everyone, welcome to WW Designs. It's Nikki here, and this channel is all about sharing my love of paper crafting. And today we are going to do part 22 of my series, 30 Ways to Decorate a Junk Journal. You can check out the playlist JJJ30 if you've missed any previous episodes. And we are slowly getting there. And today I've got, well, I had this little idea after having a mega cleanup early in the new year. I couldn't go to work because I broke my toe. So, of course, I had a big cleanup. I found this little collection of very cute tabs that I made for something but never actually used. So I thought, why not create something for a junk journal that I could use one of these cute little tabs for. So I came up with this idea. I've got some magazine scraps here. All of this was cut out of a Daphne's Diary magazine. And this is part of an old cover from Daphne's Diary. I'm going to make a tabbed bookmark, which you could use when you're actually using your journal and you're writing in it merrily. And you just, you could use this to mark the spot. And the cute little tab will be on show at the top because I've made this like obviously all my pages the different sizes but I cut this to you know a pretty generous size so that when it sits in there the little tab will show at the top now of course the other thing you could do would be to do this but make like a giant journaling card if you had the back more plain whereas I love these pretty flowers so I'm going to stick with that this could be like a giant journaling card. So all we're going to do is some gluing and pasting. This is incredibly simple as always. That's what this series is all about, is easy ways to decorate a junk journal, preferably using scraps and things like that. So what I've done, I had a bit of a play as to how I would like to set it out. And I put two little marks on here to give me a sort of starting spot so that with these pieces, I don't end up with too many holes. So all I did was cut out some little bits and pieces. Now, I had a look at the colours on here. So obviously there's pinks, some neutrally earthy tones and this green. So I tried to pick bits from the magazine that sort of went with this colour scheme. Now, things like this one, these ones here... If you have a Daphne's Diary, you'll know that often pages have pretty decorative borders. If you don't have Daphne's Diary magazine, it is definitely worth trying to get hold of because honestly, apart from lots of pretty images, there's all these things like pretty edges that you can use. So before you ever throw out a Daphne's Diary, cull it. There'll be nothing much left that actually goes in the bin. I promise you that because there's just so many pretty little bits that you can use. You can use them to make master boards or of course something like this. Now I'm just simply gluing this down. This is basically a mini master board really when you come to think of it. That's all I'm doing here. And as I said, tried to sort of stick with a little bit of a colour theme but I'm not too pedantic about it because none of it really matters. Oh, now I'm not sure about the. Well, oh, yes, that should work. So maybe something like that. Then this last edge piece. This is a great way. Look, if you don't have Daphne's Diary magazine, you're bound to have plenty of paper crafting scraps. You could do exactly the same as this. But I just grabbed a copy of Daphne's Diary, went on a quick hunt to see what I could find. And you usually end up finding something. All right. This goes up in this top corner here. So I've just for a bit of variety, I've torn some of the edges, cut the other ones. And just having a little bit of fun gluing and pasting. Honestly, sometimes things can just be really simple. They don't all have to be 
so fandangle. Look, if you then want to add ribbons and like, there's no end to what you could glue down on something like this. But actually what I might do, I might already glue the tab on now so that I have an idea of where I can add just these couple of other little bits that I cut out. So all I'm doing here is adding some of this. I think I've actually got a bit too much glue there, so I might just quickly dab it together like that, pull it apart again, and then I should have enough glue on both sides to get this down successfully. Now we're going to just sort of take a bit of a stab, try and get it in the middle, but look, we don't have to get too nitpicky about that. See, now we have this cute little tab that can stick out the top. Now, what have I got? Um, We've got a cute little butterfly that I cut out. Hmm. Actually, what's that? I don't want that little bit of excess there. What's that there? Didn't cut that out very well, did I? Let's just gently snip that off. That's better. Or maybe we can put the... Oh, yes, that's where we're going to put the butterfly. Down there. Now, uh, let's see, we've got a little bit of greenery that I found. We might pop that there. And then very aptly, I cut out this Collect Memories. It's actually said something else, I can't, Collecting Memories or no, something else. And so I trimmed it down and we will use Collect Memories because that's what a journal is all about. And I thought that seemed like a really good saying for a junk journal. Book, page, marker, thingy, whatever you'd like to call it. There we go. And then I grabbed this little scrap in case I had a whole and I hadn't quite got my measurements right, but there are no holes there. So now have a look. This is very cute. I think it turned out really nicely. It's so quick, so easy. Using up scraps like these would probably just go in the bin if you didn't chop them off, put them to good use. And I think that is a perfect addition for our little journal we're creating here. Look, there's a nice space. There we go. Now, oh, now, hang on. I wonder, would it? Where, where's the other? I've just realised something. Where is the other part of this one? Let's see if I can find the other edge. Oh, okay, I've only got a pocket on this side. Now, that is an open pocket. So if I wanted to, I could even sit it in that pocket, except faces the wrong way. So no, I don't like that idea. Have I got another one? No. But never mind, it's a perfect little page marker. And that was very quick and easy. Hope you'll try something like this to decorate your current junk journal you're working in. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the box below. And if you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And until next time, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye for now.